In this video, I will show you how to play Steam games offline. This should be a quick and easy tutorial to follow, but before we do continue, please consider leaving a like on the video and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. So to do this, as you can see, we're currently here on Steam. So what you want to do is make sure you've launched Steam and you're logged into your account. Now, once you've done that, come up to the top and what you want to do is click onto library to come across to your games library. Then what you want to do is okay the game that you want to play play offline. So for example, let's take Marvel Rivals. If there's any updates available, then make sure to install any updates before going ahead and launching the game offline. So what I'm going to do is use Warframe as an example. And basically this is all up to date. You can see it's ready to play. Now to play this game offline, all you need to do is come up to the top left hand corner, click onto Steam. And from this menu that comes up, you're going to see an option to go offline. All you want to do is go ahead to give that a click to go offline. As you can see, it now says we're in offline mode at the bottom. Steam is currently in offline mode. In offline mode, many features of your Steam library, such as activity and friends, will be un unavailable. Of course, you would need to go online to view that content. But once you've gone offline, you are good to go. You can just simply click play onto the game that you want to play offline. And that's going to go ahead and launch the game successfully. Of course, as long as it's got offline compatibility, you'll be able to go ahead and play the game offline. So that is how to play Steam games offline. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel with that being said i just want to take a minute thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and i will see you in the next video